hello everybody welcome back to my channel and as you can see today we have my switch on me this is a video um that i've been wanting to do for ages um so let me just put oh my god i keep saying the word oh, i'm so unprofessional i am going to be painting on this protector for my switch because I got a grey switch and I remember I wanted like the Animal Crossing one, you know, the one with all the patterns. But in the middle of a pandemic, everybody seems to want a switch. So I was unlucky and I just said, you know what, I'll just get a grey one and then customise it to my own. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, I even got, I got fun grips of this too. I didn't even know that. That's actually so cool. I do, I did buy fun grips separately. That's nice to know. And a screen protector, which I've already got one. I've got a glass one, my. I actually do assume that these will fit my. Let me show you. So this is the back, or the back of the switch. That's okay. And these are for the grips, which have the front and the back. So that's what I'm going to be painting. And then I also got this to put my games in and i wanted to paint the case for it too and the only reason i've already opened it is because as you can see i've got games that um i needed to put in here to protect them i actually think i'm going to paint this first just because it's a flat surface so it's easy for me to um practice on and it's already opened there's all the other stuff still in like all the protective plastic so let's do that before I start, I just want to say I accidentally brought acrylic binder and I mean I know I'm going to use acrylics but this might work because I am going to use acrylics on this and it's plastic which means it's not going to really stick because I don't have the right paint for it but I do recommend like if you do want to paint on um plastic you use um spray paint or is there such a thing as plastic paint? I feel like that exists. I don't know, but um, I would not recommend using acrylic. I'm just going to be using acrylic to show you guys the pattern that I'm doing. And if it completely fails, um, then I might have to change. And I also do have um, an acrylic sealer, is that what it's called? Don't know if it will really work on plastic, but we can try. Okay, let's do it now properly. That was just like a disclaimer that this is going to probably completely fail. Oh, all professional artists are going to cringe at this. Oh my goodness, if this is so wrong, they're going to cringe. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. So I want to paint some flowers on this and onto the case as I want them to match. Hi everyone, future Alex here. Um, so here I am mixing the colours that I want. As you can see, I'm making like yellows and oranges and I make browns because the middle of the sunflower is brown. And I weirdly made a good brown. I was surprised. I thought I was going to make a really ugly brown, but the brown, they turned out nice. And I also added acrylic binder just to make sure they're extra sticky so they stick to the plastic. So now it's time to paint and I do not have a photo in front of me. I'm really going off of my memory here. If it turns out really bad, I can always start over, you know, just trust, trust the process, just trust the process. Apparently I add the acrylic binder here. You can see it got really messy and it went everywhere. <laughs> time for the second coat so i put three coats down i didn't really care if i wasn't solid i just wanted it to look colorful oh my god i feel like my videos would get more views if i didn't voice over all the time Anyway, so here I am just painting the flowers. I don't know if you can see I got very impatient and I was using a hairdryer to dry the paint. Don't know if that was the best idea, but it worked. Nothing bad happened. Um, 
yeah i'm adding the white petals because i wanted like the orange to be the underneath petals and then the white the white the yellow to be on top and that's exactly what i did and i actually like how it looked oh my god why has my lighting got so weird i have to turn on my light is that better it's better than nothing okay so because paint takes forever to dry and i could have used a dry hair dryer but i haven't i'm just gonna head straight on to doing these like i'm just gonna try and do them like as i'm waiting for others to dry you know it, like it saves time or, um, or this kind of satisfying i'm gonna stop talking no i'm not doing it smart. okay like, so i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna get straight on with it like i'm just let's just it's just i'm just gonna it's just gonna do it let's do it hi guys i'm back so here i'm painting for sunflowers again they look like normal flowers here trust the process they end up looking like sunflowers well i'd like to think they end up looking like sunflowers i hope so um oh we're gonna get to see me paint the um fronts of the joy cons but it's really difficult because there's holes in them so it got my desk really messy and there's paint in the holes and it just it got messy but it ended up looking it ended up looking good so it was worth it how are you guys how are you doing how's life is it good <laughs> if you'd like to see me do more of these videos just comment down below and i'll do them because this was so fun to film i enjoyed making a nice switch case for myself tell me patterns as well give me ideas i will listen and take anything you say into consideration because i love painting oh i really messed up on this bit i think i explain it in a minute okay so as you can see yeah, as you can see, I have done a lot. I kept my basically my phone died, but I wanted to show you even if my phone's on a low percentage because I haven't properly charged it up. How I do the middle, I dab the dark color on first. I usually do one coat, as you can see, I've done a coat before that because I accidentally did a pop it on the yellow. Um, I dab that on. And I decided that keeping is best when um, the paint is still wet Let's do this next bit So then you get the lighter brown And so you would just dab it You want the lighter brown mostly in the middle, right? And then you're going to blend it But blend it by dabbing So it's still you can still see the light and dark colours But you want a little bit of the light in the middle You see that? Kind of like that Like you don't want to fully blend it like you want to still, but you want to, it's easy to see from a distance, like, yeah, you want us to be able to see the dabs, you don't want it to be straight, you want to see the texture of the dabbing, and you kind of just see that near the middle, near the centre of the thing, just blend that out, so that there's a bit of a mixture, you want it to be majority of the darker, and there you go. Those are the sunflowers. Now I've got to let these dry and start with the next ones. Which are these ones? I think these are dry. They're not. They're not dry, but I want to still put the brown in the middle as I've got. It doesn't affect that much. So my method was really just to dab the dark brown on, then dab the light brown on top, and then go over it with dark brown and then you should get some sort of mixture that's what i did okay so that's the first layer so i'll let that dry and then i will um do that again and i'll do the same on these ones before i do a reveal follow these accounts if you want to see more painting videos or just some content because i post a lot of content on these two thank you and now it's time for the reveal Wow, look at it! Isn't it good? I'm so happy with this outcome. Okay, go. <laughs> the final result. I'm so happy with this. And let me try and show you what they're like when I take it off. Because you can look. They, they work. 
you can see so with the case i brought off of amazon i can use a switch like this take them out that's why i made a big sound for that one okay thank you everybody so much for watching um if you like more art videos please comment down below and i hope i'll do them i'll probably do them anyway um thank you and see you next time bye i'm so bad at it Any intros arms i'm so bad at outros oh my god